Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Red Raptor Rites in Prehistoric Kingdom Early Access. In the last episode, we made our- ooh, we're going fast. We made our Horseshoe Canyon Formation Exhibit. Our Horseshoe Herbivores. Genius. What, are you looking for a raise? Get out. Yeah, and I really like how it came out. Of course, we have the Packy Rhinosaurus looking lovely as ever, and it sneezed again, which is adorable. And there is some Edmontosaurus in the background. That's Edmontosaurus regalis. And like I said last time, I really like these designs. I say this every time we play this. I just love the designs, I love the animals. And I can't wait to see what more will be done with them. So for the names, we have Juniper for this lovely female. And that's from the Walking with Dinosaurs movie. Which I actually haven't seen yet, I don't have to write a review of it yet, and I would rather save my misery for later. I'm finishing up Monster Snake right now. Okay, I'm not that far into the video, <laughs> I just finished the script. I'm finishing Monster Snake, let's say. Which is 2012, this is 2013. It should be coming up very soon, maybe within a month or two. And I'm not sure... I wanna like this. <laughs> okay, so there's Juniper. Hi. Mr. Thicknose. I've been told um, he's from a Land Before Time sequel, but I don't know which sequel that is. I've recently watched. I've been told. Sorry. That I've recently watched one through seven. Seven, not as recently, because I'm going through them again. My last one I watched was six. Lately, seven's the best though. Um, okay, so Mr. Thicknose is probably past seven, if I'm going to guess. Maybe like eight or nine. Oh, no. Magnus. That's a good name. Are you stuck? No, you're just eating. Okay, hi, Magnus. Very powerful, epic name. Alright, cool. Stupid Oceratops. Which, okay, I'm pretty sure this is a paleo YouTuber referring to... The amazing dino world. Uh, Packy Rhinosaurus with the giant horn on its nose. And I forget which YouTuber and where it came from. I've definitely heard this one before. I swear I do watch Paleo stuff. So yes, this is Stupid Oceratops. Not not really you, but you're, you're a reference, okay? You're just a reference. Stagger. Not Swagger, but alright. Cool enough. Hi, Stagger. Taking a nap. And Juniper. Okay, that's all of them. So now we can move on to the Amonosauruses, which need more names, because I got a lot of male names. I need more female names, because most of the dinosaurs in the zoo are females. <laughs> so I think three female Amonosaurus names in the comments down below, that would be much appreciated. Alright, so, uh, so here we have Scar. That's the name of the Edmontosaurus from March of the Dinosaurs. Although that one was a different species, we're not going to use Kukpakensis uh, or, you know, the Arctic Alaskan one. Because we already have Edmontosaurus and Pachyrhinosaurus. Why repeat the same exhibit again? So here's Scar. Survived his journey and many more to come. Ed. Ooh, poop. Ed. <laughs> I was given Ed, Ed, and Eddie, like the show, but I don't even have three Edmontosaurus, so I'm not gonna give all the names to one commenter. <laughs> Sorry. Birch. Okay, not sure what to do with that. I guess like the tree. But I'm pretty sure birches are more white than this. But still, it was a name I could use for females. Dawn. A lovely name. I mean, I wouldn't name my kid that, but it's like a good, it's a good Jedi name, or something like that. <laughs> Alright, so this is Chattius Maximus, and like I said, we were running out of female names, so, um, yeah, I just gave this to a female. <laughs> you can be an honorary Chad, how about that? Alright, that's a pretty Chad move right there. Alright, I see how it is, pretty cool. Aww, very lovely. I guess you are kind of a chat at heart. So, I'm gonna clean some poop, and then there's spoilers over there. 
Oh no, don't spoil it for me, please. Thankfully, I've never had any major movie spoiled for me. Because I, if there's ever a big event, I see it opening night just to avoid that. Like, Endgame, Infinity War, uh, No Way Home. So I missed the spoilers, thankfully. Oh, The Force Awakens. Oh my gosh, that is a story right there. So I come back from winter break. This is like 11th grade. Uh, so now it just turned to 2016, December of 2015. Uh, everyone comes back, they've seen The Force Awakens, except for my history teacher. <laughs> and, you know, we all promise to shut up and not tell her what's gonna happen. Hi there. But, so we're kind of trying, me and some other students are trying to discuss the movie, like, in secret, like, talking about it without really talking about it, you know? But, uh, <laughs> so I say that, you know, I liked it pretty good. And I saw it twice at that point, I ended up seeing it three times. And then, this kid Name and address withheld. literally shouts out, I can't watch Han Solo die twice right in front of my history teacher. And then she's just jaw dropped. Ruby ruined for her. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I just don't understand the lack of consideration that goes into such an action. Like if, I, if I did something like that, I wouldn't be able to function for the rest of my life. I don't know how people can be so inconsiderate at times. So, what is your water like? 34. Okay. Hold up. <laughs> We're gonna try something pretty risky. Today is the Acrocanthosaurus exhibit, and I'm gonna make an Acrocanthosaurus beach. I got a few suggestions that I liked, but, um, in... Monsters Resurrected, I know, not really something you want to be proud of. In Monsters Resurrected, there's a scene where the Acro chases down a sore Poseidon on a beach. They're called Paluxy Titan. So I just want to make a nice tropical beach over here. And this will act also as a moat, so that the Acro can't just walk over and then chomp some guests. So it adds like a... A hint of danger, a feeling of danger, but not real danger. And then maybe in the back I'll do another viewing area. Here, let me make this bigger. Because half of the exhibit is moat. <laughs> Acrocanthosaurus, one of my favorite dinosaurs. It made, what, 10 on the list? Was it 10? 9, 10, something like that. So if you missed that, that was my 10k special, I believe. Yes, my 10k special. So check that out. Also, why didn't it do the thing? Like, I've seen before that it just lets you take off the piece you don't like. So why didn't it just let me do that? There, like that. Okay. <laughs> so, also, um, while I talk about my 10k special, check it out. I'll put the link in the description down below, there will be a 15k special. So if you haven't subscribed yet, you should probably get on that because this is going to be a fun one. Uh, I'm going to make a review of the New York American Museum of Natural History. So that's the one, you know, in Night of the Museum. Um, it's, it's like next to Central Park. It's a very famous museum. But I've been there in the past, and I can say that that place is sus. Very sus. And I'm not sure that... <laughs> it, whoever owns that place is probably not going to like my review. But I'm sure you guys at home will enjoy it. Ah, oh, very sandy. Very nice. I'm not going to give too much away yet, for those who haven't seen the place before. If you haven't been to New York or haven't been there in person. Not gonna give it away yet. But, let me tell ya. Um, <laughs> yeah, that, it, it needs work. It needs a lot of work. Just trees in the back for now. I'll add a viewing area later on. Just some trees in the back. Happy trees. But yeah, that video will only come once I hit 15k. Well, once I hit 15k, then I'll go to the city, I'll film it. 
I already have a film crew that signed on. Alright, here's the thing. Everyone loves that, like, look of when the grass, like, fades into the sand. But there's not really grass at this time. Okay, let's just liven the terrain a little. It's a fun idea, but nothing crazy. Also, I'm gonna get a penalty for this, for it being too low of a fence. But these are the sacrifices we have to make. Hi, Echo can't. Th oh, you're paused. Oh, here. Alright, here you go. Oh, I really like the Acrocanthosaurus. I think I'm gonna go with this skin. This is my favorite one, but all the skins are amazing. This is the best Acrocanthosaurus reconstruction, like, ever. Ever. Unless I'm missing something really obvious, but I don't think so. Best Acrocanthosaurus. One male, one female. Have fun, guys. Oh, come on, it's becoming night already. And so now, while we get t closer towards the waterline, let's stop using these trees and start using these trees and lower that density. So now it's transitioning into beach. Ooh, I don't like the way you curve. <laughs> Something I say on dates all the time. You know, it's fun being a terrible person. <laughs> no, but seriously, like, if you're gonna go spoil a movie for someone, like, don't. Just go to the dumpster where you belong. Like, I like this. Very much reminds me of Jurassic Park 3, the ending. But will they like it? So you want 10 to 40, 20 to 50. The water is fine. Oh my god, the forest is not fine. <laughs> they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. But you just can't get into it because they would never understand. And back to talking about Star Wars. I did enjoy The Force Awakens when it came out, and I still can go watch it and have fun with it. It's still kind of an enjoyable movie for me. But, like, knowing that it goes nowhere good that everything gets ruined. Well, I say ruined, it wasn't that great to begin with, but it, the movie was like a promise for greater things to come, and I was sold on that promise. But then, once the sequels came out, oh gosh, oh gosh. All right, so you're gonna need some shelter too. Let me not be a jerk about this here. You can have shelter. Actually, they're prefabs. What well, looks tropical, like a bungalow-y kind of thing. Like, uh, hmm. I mean, I guess this works. This also works. This is supposed to be for sore pods? This kind of looks like you're on a beach. And, um, there's another good one. Here, this... Here, this is a pavilion that's not really supposed to be for Aquacanthosaurus. Well, I'm sure they could find some use for it. There you go. Here, and then I'll just get rid of all the trees in here, which is helpful to lower that tree count. There we go. Lovely. And then add the little... Ah. Excuse me, undo that. Single groups. Not grid. Just connect to the floor. To the ground. Excuse me. Why? Why? Why Why would you do that? That's good. And then over here. I don't want my Akros to be uncomfy when they're taking a nap, so... Just get rid of the trees. Plants here. Good. Now they can take a very comfy nap. I'm proud of them. They're going to need their food. That's good. I need to change that to meat because I'm not forcing them to be vegan. Like some pet owners do, which is horrible. And baby owners. Not that babies are property, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Just dung beetles along the beach. Having the dung. Do I want to go rock crazy on this? Now that's the big question here. I mean, I can add a few rocks, but nothing crazy. I, this isn't a rock area. Maybe along here. No. No, yeah, this isn't the place to go rock crazy. 
for some YouTubers, it's always rock crazy time, but not for me. It's not my thing. Rocks can make anything look good. But I don't really think it fits the vibe I'm going with. Also, I noticed that some animals just escape randomly. I think they're like glitching out of the exhibits. Oh, uh, that's not good. So that's something that should be fixed. And it happens in a lot of these games. Uh, I think it happens in Planet Zoo. It happens in Zoo Tycoon 2. JPOG and Jurassic World Evolution actually don't do that. Which is thankful, because that would be a complete nightmare if that happened. Um, yes, yeah, so. Am I liking it already? I didn't mean to like it this fast. I thought this would take longer. So, um, yeah, that's, I guess that's done. <laughs> I would have sworn that it took longer. Okay, exit group. So maybe does that give us time to go rock crazy? Do I need to go rock crazy? So I want to build a viewing area over here. So let me clear some trees here as in preparation for that. Yes, okay. I'll go crazy over here next time. Probably at some point I'm going to go crazy. Well, I mean, I'm already crazy as a person, but you know what I mean. So will you like this? Oh, this is cool. This is already cool. So you stand here and you look at the Acrocanthosauruses from a very safe distance. Oh my goodness, that's majestic. They're gonna need some binoculars actually. So, guest facilities, attractions. I should probably close this view. Alright, here come the rocks. You win, rock people. Just limit the view so that people have to, you know, look look for the acrocanthosauruses. They're not just there. You can't take them for granted. Here, that's stupid. Here. What the Shrek? Why, why, what, what? What's wrong with you? Oh my gosh, that was cool. Oh goodness. Oh, that's epic. But uh, this is four meters deep. So that's as deep as the Acrocanthosaurus is tall. Yeah, you're not in danger. <laughs> well, why aren't you fully happy? Acrocanthosaurus, the high spined forest. lizard. An apex predator, and a good one at that. Each side of its upper jaw sports 19 razor sharp teeth. But I don't recommend getting close enough to count them all. See, I, I like I like this game's sense of humor, sense of style. It feels fun. You know, it feels well written and engaging for audiences, but also informational. So it's smart and fun at the same time, which is what you want in a game like this. You don't want a dumb game. Okay, now this is better. Break up that sight line. So then it's not just boring, you see them everywhere. Then that that's boring, no one wants to just see the Acrocanthosaurus. What, they need power? Do binoculars really need power? Am I going crazy or is the game going crazy? Really, you need power. Or are you too far from the power? Is that what's happening? Can I get a view up in here? Zoom power generated. No, okay, it doesn't. Yeah, that, I think that's the problem. It's too far from the power. Too far from the grid. So I'm making a lot of power, but it's not getting over here, and I have no way to get it over here. I think. I think that's the case. Okay, let's let's let's, let's just do this. Here, <laughs> I feel bad for the maintenance guy. He's just. Go into the Akko exhibit. Oh, it's sleeping on a beach. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, this is epic. This is amazing. 10 out of 10, Akko. 10 out of 10. Okay, let's make you happy. Let's get rid of a few trees. Probably back here. Alright, that's as far as I'm willing to compromise. Are you happy? Oh, you're not happy. I guess I'll have to compromise more. 
Are you kidding me? Come on. It's not even that much forest. Alright, they'll get over it. They'll get over it. I don't need them to be super happy. Alright, more rocks. Which is always a good thing. And I think at this point we can pull away. We don't need to have this giant thing. But they need the space, but... For an exhibit like this, yeah. Alright, we can pull away at this point. And just grab the rocks from over here. Where's the one I bent? There you go. Copy you. Let's go. Or maybe this will be the VIP viewing section. There we go. Bruh, I can't watch Han Solo die twice. What kind of... Who does that? Who says that? Oh boy, yeah. Oh man. I say this all the time and I'll say it again. If only this were real. If only this were real. Oh, hi Richard. Sorry I don't like your habitat, but uh, that's a you problem. How you doing? Aside from too many trees. The tall neural spines oh, running down its back dipping. are what create that beautiful scenic silhouette. Although their function remains a bit of a mystery to us. I'd love to go to get a closer look at this particular specimen. But I think I'll uh, stay this side of the fence. Alright, hold on. Let me just look away. Hope the frame rate recovers. Alright, how are you doing? <laughs> how are you doing, Acro? Maybe this could become a problem when your zoom becomes too big. The performance might take a hit. But man, I love this. Also, so since I first got Twitter, um, I tweeted at Nigel Marvin once because uh, I was working on Prehistoric Kingdom and he's in it. And he actually retweeted me. So, Nigel Marvin, the great Nigel Marvin, who I've been a prehistoric park fan since I was seven, eight, in second grade. I read the book. I remember caught an episode. So, that Nigel Marvin acknowledged that I exist. Like, that's crazy to me. <laughs> that's so crazy. But I thank him for that. Richard, and where's the other one? And Kimmy. Oh, it's a nice name. Too bad it's gonna get changed, but you know, it's a nice name. Kimmy. Yeah, that's not the first thing I think of when I have an Acrocanthosaurus, but sure, why the heck not? Oh. Oh. Okay, so, what are we doing for the next episode? Man, dang, I really love those Acrocanthosauruses. Best Acrocanthosaurus ever. Um, so what are we doing for the next episode? Let's take a look. Which used to be my old catchphrase whenever I'd open a video, but not today. Okay, we could save Tyrannosaurus. Dinochirus? Eh. <laughs> I don't need Dinochirus in my life. Like, I like it, but I don't need it. I'm thinking, okay, I think I'm setting up the zoo for this dinosaur park area. So that would include a Parasaurolophus, Lambiosaurus, and Styracosaurus. Yeah, we can have a dinosaur park formation park place. Alright, that's not the official name. Okay, then maybe next we can add Dinochirus and Argentinosaurus. Maybe, maybe in a joint exhibit, alright? Maybe in a joint exhibit. And then we finish it off with the Hell Creek area. Dang, I'm saying finish it off. Like, like we're nearing the end of this early access run through. I'll definitely come back to this after we finish the zoo. Yeah, I I'd definitely come back. But uh, yeah, for the time being, the series is coming to a close. Oh wait, you could, wait, you could change the filters. Clades, climate, Oh my gosh, I didn't know this was a thing. This is super useful. Oh, but you get duplicates because they can live in multiple climates. But that's still nice to see, so you can know what 
would live with what, or what can live with what, not that they live together actually. This is very helpful, art right, climate, time period, also very helpful. Cretaceous, quaternary, All right, pretty good, pretty good. At diet, epic. Pis wait, Piscivore? Who's a Piscivore? Who, who is a Piscivore here? Is that a hint towards Baryonyx? Spinosaurus? Did I just find a secret? Frugivore? Who else would be a Frugivore? I just think it's strange. Okay, so in the next episode, we are going to get... Oh, we're five stars. That's excellent. You made it to five stars. So we're going to do the dinosaur park formation. And so we're going to need... You. Maybe get another one. You. Ooh. Ooh, I like this one. You. You. You're coming with me. And we need you. Wait. Okay, so, yes, oh yeah, there are three species, so the Passolophus skins are separated. Yeah, we'll need you. Alright. So that's next up. And where's that gonna be? Um, probably around... I was actually gonna put it here before. Just can't do that right now. Maybe around here. Or, like, here-ish. Here. Here, let's say here. Alright, for the time being. And the Hell Creek area would be like back here. And that's our zoo planned out. Alright, so remember if you enjoyed this episode to please leave a like, subscribe, and check out my social media. See you next time.